13 Eyewitness News. This is the TCU Sports Desk. Ryan Grigson's tenure in Indianapolis is now over. Rich Nye looks back at the Indiana Natives' run as the man in charge of the Indianapolis Colts. Indiana native and former Purdue football player Ryan Grigson enjoyed immediate success as a first-time NFL general manager. He turned over 70% of the roster his first season and won Executive of the Year honors. <laughs> Number one pick Andrew Luck in the 2012 draft class formed the foundation of the Colts offense. Grigson's trade for cornerback Vontae Davis was probably his best move during his five years running the Colts front office. But no one the Colts drafted in 2013 worked out. Notably, first-rounder Bjorn Werner, a pass rush bust. Grigson gave up a first-round pick in 2014 for Trent Richardson, who ran nowhere. 2015 first-round pick Philip Dorsett has disappointed. The biggest knock on Grigson may be his inability to build a defense. No defensive player from his first three drafts is even on the team. I don't look at... Um, Ryan's time as a failure. I don't. I know there's never been a, a football team in the history of the league that came in with a rookie coach, a rookie quarterback, a rookie general manager, had a coach that battled, you know, potentially fatal cancer, and uh, didn't have a losing season in five years. Ursay did not criticize Grigson's roster moves. The firing comes over the culture Grigson created, and ongoing friction with coach Chuck Pagano. I'm Rich Knight, Channel 13 Eyewitness Sports.